All right. This is my kind of program. This is your kind of program. It You're is. already jumping around. What are I you doing am. I today? I love fajitas. Well, you love anything that's Mexican. I Southwest. Do. I do too. I'm I, a Southwest I do. person. I yeah. love Mexican food. And it's yeah. like, give it to me, throw it away. <laughs> what you got going? Yes, we are doing fajitas today. And we're just showing you the simplicity of how easy it is to make fajitas. Mm -hmm. uh, vegan, healthy fajitas. That's the difference. That's the difference. Yeah. You got so. your plates hot. Yeah, I'm getting see, there. You don't have to have that hot sizzling in the oven kind of stuff that they do there or that grill. You can just sizzle, do it at sizzle, home. Sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. You know what these are, right? Ah, uh, soy curls. Butler soy curls. Some of my favorite products. Of course, if you're doing the soy curls, I guess you should try to use the bigger pieces for a fajita for one. For fajita? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I actually, I just, that's all I need. Just a few, right? Wow. Yeah. And uh, I, I'm giving this a little oil because I want those babies to brown a little bit. Mm hmm. And then what's your key ingredients for fajitas? Your bell peppers, and onions. your onions, so. and your meat. Yep, this is your That's standard. Your key. It doesn't mean you, you can't use other things, but those are your key ingredients. Yep. And, and then what about your seasoning? What do you use for Spice-wise, I am going to give you the secret to the most successful fajita seasoning you will ever need. And that is red pepper. Now, Don't this, need to get carried away with it. Okay, this cayenne, it's just red pepper, right? Red okay. pepper, cayenne pepper, and then this is just seasoned salt. Oh, okay. And you can use Lowry's as a really good brand. Uh, there's it? a few brands okay. out there, but that's it. Now, what if they're Nothing sodium else. sensitive and they have to really watch their sodium, Mark, because we know that's the salt. What would they then do then? Then I wouldn't use it. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. And that's somebody like me. I'm really careful about my sodium. Mm -hmm. And uh, wow, that already looks pretty. So that is like the key ingredients, and I've done this in a number of different restaurants with those two ingredients, and mm -hmm. it's always successful. So there's um, no secret uh -huh. recipe out there or seasoning for uh, fajitas. There's fajita seasonings out there. But it's um, the basic set. Uh, about the only addition they're going to have would be the uh, cumin. Let cumin. me see here. All right. Uh, cumin, is it cumin? And uh, oregano, right? Yes. So <laughs> he first knows two his I picked. Seasoning. Usually. So let's okay. do that right here. Uh, you want right. to do a mushroom one? or do you I do, do the, because uh... my favorite is portabella. That okay. is my favorite fajita. So. And I'm going to add a little oil to that. It's smoking already. Good. Turn that down a little bit. To. Is that too that much? That should be just right. That's, that's a serving for me because I love my And I'm going to add just a little water to this because uh, we want those portobellos to uh, get a little, little action to them, don't we? Yes, we do. That'll help break them down a little bit. It will, yeah. And then what else do you want to add to it? Maybe just a couple more. Yeah, you know, whenever I go to Because they a, do shrink, don't they? They do. When I go into a restaurant, and they, I know they do the portobello fajitas, I always tell them to dry grill mine, because I don't want all the oil in mine. And I like extra portobellas. And lots oh. of onions. Yep. And you know what else I like in mine, Mark? We'll add some little color for the... Mm -hmm. I like just a few. OK, so we got that one going. Uh-huh. And now I want to do one more without the oil. Well, we need to see some flavor. What do you want to do for flavor here? Um, look what I found, Mark. What do you got there? Well, you were on the road. I was out one day and I found this wonderful chipotle crushed pepper Ooh. seasoning. Smell this. It is awesome. Ooh. Yeah. When I'm thinking a little maybe cumin, garlic maybe. Wow. Some of that chipotle So you seasoning. want to put this in this one? Yes. Put with the mushroom? Here. There you go. Oh, good. Oh, he really kicked it up. Yeah? Well, it's not really hot. It doesn't have salt in it, though. It doesn't have any salt in it. It's not a big salt item. So. Okay, yeah. And I don't <coughs> I don't like salt in mine. A little salt in there. <coughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think he found Whoa. the pepper. Did I hit you? That's got a late hit. <laughs> That's got I a late that's hit. A, and so you put a lot in mine, didn't you? Woo! You know, this is something I want you to try. And that tempeh, I've be used that before. Yeah. I, okay, I love the tempeh. Has anybody ever been to Tempeh, Arizona? <laughs> Tempe. Tempeh, Arizona? Tempe. I have. Yep, me too. You know, Mark, I think we've been in almost every state in the United States. I've been you everywhere, more than yeah, I've been everywhere. There's a song like that, isn't there? Yes, there is. I think it's a country <laughs> song. 
Woo, that's looking good. What do you want in here? We'll let, go with those greens. Let, let's do, and some onions. Okay. Should we put more portobellas or no? Flavor-wise, let's just let's, do the standard, which would be your salt, your red pepper, okay. uh, your seasonal, which I'm not going to put a lot of this because I've already got that salt, salt in, there. in there. And then your add-on is going to be a little bit of cumin and a little bit of that oregano. I can never get these things open. So. So, yeah, a lot, oh, of, a lot like of the that. places will do the salt, I like that. the oregano, and the cumin in them. And then this one's the water saute. So that's yours. That's like your healthy one there. Where's my portobellas? They're here, but I added a little hair of okay. oil to it. Just a little bit. And that's it might end bad. up being a little spicy, too, along okay. the way. Okay, so let me get some of this stuff out of the way, because I want to see what else you got going on over here. Mm. I see a whole side of what in the world do you have going on. Well, you just can't eat fajitas by themselves. I mean, that just would not be right, Mark. So, uh -huh. what do you think about? Love it. Some beautiful rice. Who made that? Some Who made that? That looks so chef. good. And then I have what I call like a charro bean. This is not a refried bean, but it's a black bean that I added celery and onions and garlic to. I gave it some seasoning and it's wonderful on the side with our fajitas because we want to add it, we want to do our fajitas with our tortilla and then we want to put all of our stuff on there and make it like a big fajita burrito. Mm -hmm. This we actually have a, a, a real video that you can watch to watch mm -hmm. how to make that. It's just and a gorgeous item. Rice. Mm -hmm. Look at the beans here. One thing I noticed that you did mm -hmm. was you made it thick enough. I wanted it thick. I didn't want this to be thin. Because then it would just go all over right, the place right. and you needed some body. And it's not a refried bean. So. There's no oil in it, so it's just a good healthy bean. I use black beans. But yes, I did not want this then. Mm -hmm. And then of course, what have I got here, Mark? Guacamole. Mm -hmm. How do you make your guacamole? You know, real I, quick, like, I like my guacamole with uh, cilantro, garlic, a little bit of red onion, and of course avocado and lime juice. But I know Miss Brenda doesn't like all that stuff in hers, so I put just a little salt and avocados in hers. Okay. Because I know who's going to come home and eat dinner tonight, and I know what we're going to be eating. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Of course, we'll make a custom one without all the peppers and we onions for her, too. We will do that. Mm -hmm. Yes, we always take care of Brenda. Yes. Okay, what else you got? I have got some olives for some color. I've got some good salsa. I have Sour some cream. Vegan sour cream, and I have some lettuce. And the lettuce. This is what I want to use to dress up our fajitas. Okay. So, and by theory, mm -hmm. fajitas don't normally have cheese on them. So that's why we don't have the cheese here. Sometimes when I'm in a restaurant and I order my fajitas, I'll tell them I want them vegan. I don't use sour cream or meat. You know, do a dry grill, and they'll come back with cheese on top. <laughs> yeah, I know. Because they don't understand it's a dairy. What the, what the, the you, never heard so, of it. Yeah, yeah you're right. Sometimes Look at the moisture in this. I'm loving that. I'm loving Can you those see how it's just got a sauciness coming out of it? I love it. I love it. And this mm -hmm. here, is it starting to brown or is it still? It's, it now, is. Now, this is we did with water. Yeah, so, this is your water saute, but it's still not sticking or anything. So it's doing pretty good. That's good. It's doing pretty good. Play musical chairs here. Yeah, that looks like a hotter. So. Okay, so now, let's slide do? all that to the side. All right. Because we've got some work to do here. We've got some work to do. By the way, yes. I picked up these uh, uh, fajita pans, mm -hmm. and the pan goes right on top hot, hot, at hot. Goodwill. Uh, good for, deal. for two bucks. You know, Mark and I, we'll take off sometimes and we'll just go Goodwill shopping, don't we? Yeah. And I love it because there, there's one time a month where Mark lives that they actually have a senior day. <laughs> and that's the only time, folks, I'm happy to be a senior because it's 50% off. Can you believe off. <laughs> she is a senior citizen? Yes, I am. Yes, and it's 55 and older, but I'm closer to the 65 almost. I'm, I'm telling not you, far I from don't that. know how you do it. You don't know how right. I do it. So here we go. Okay. You got to be very That's careful hot. with these because they are hot. so hot. But this is the thing that you want to do. You want to get that. When oh, you're I hear the fizzle. Them. Listen to right. that. And oh that's the way God. you're going to serve it. Wow. That's the way you want to serve it. Just like that. 
Loving that, Mark. Sizzling. Sizzle so, fajita. Uh, you ready for another one here? I am. Why don't we put my portobello baby out there? Okay. Yeah, you got to be real careful with these when you handle them. They're hot. They are so hot. Yeah, and they tell you, don't touch these. Yeah, kids, don't try this at home. Wow. Yummy. Now, if they had more oil, they'd be sizzling even more because usually it's an oily type of program that you're putting out there, but we're not doing a, a lot of that today. Woo! Um, when you do this at home, if you do the chipotle crushed pepper one, I suggest not putting as much on as Mark did. <laughs> I like it spicy though. But That'll it will fun. open your sinuses, and if you have a cold, I'm sure it will help with that. Listen. Is that gorgeous or what? I'm loving this. Oh, I can all, I can just taste it by smelling it. That was good. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it is really good actually. Wow, Mark. And we need one more here. We so, need one more, and I'm going to move this over a little so, bit. Hit this one right here somehow. There you go. And put that baby there. And then this is our... Tempeh. Uh, no oil. Yeah, oil-free. Love it. Yeah, that's a lot. I'm going to get it all in there, though. I you might are. as well. Mm. Whoa, just like that. Of course, now if you want this one to actually sizzle before it goes mm. out, Mark. you would actually have to hit it with a whole bunch of water like this. There, I got one drop, two drops, mm. uh, three drops. There mm. you go. Taste this. You're going to be surprised. Oh. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay, now. Yeah, I've had that before. Can we plate some up and show them what we're going to do here? Well, what I'll do, let me pop these babies aside here. Okay. Now, for a family style, this you're is there. how you would serve it. You're there. And you, you would just have your condiments on. Everything the side. you have is already designed for family style, so sure it is. You're all set up. But say I want to make a special plate. Okay. Well, let me do one other thing here then. Okay. And uh, I'll just put those in the sink for now. And I'll get some of these wraps. How many you want? You want two of these or one of these? Uh, how about, yeah, well, let's do one. Want to do one this time? Yeah, we'll do okay. one on here. Maybe two. And you can always warm these up on the grill. I, I just do them with my fingers and stuff, and, and it mm -hmm. just makes such a nice difference. Oh, so. I think we can put two on here, Mark. You want two? Yeah. If you're going to do two, mm -hmm. let me show you the trick to it. You know the trick to it, but a lot of the people at home might not know the trick to it. But it's nice to give it a little warmth and a little... Mm -hmm. Because it, it folds But better. the trick to it is to have uh, both pieces up in the together. center and then you fill the outsides with it. And which one do you want to do? Um, uh, let's do the original. Okay. So then you can have some of this on each side. And actually you could just leave it just like this and it's good to go. That's how I like it, right? All right, I'm going to move that over just, just a little bit. Just tighten it up a little bit. And then I want to put a little bit of rice on the side, Mark. Uh huh. And I love this. Or I was gonna say you oh. can put the bowl there. You know what? I probably should have had. We've got this confetti rice. Oh, I love it. Yummy. Now I want to take. I, no, I just want to try it. <laughs> I want to take a little bit of <laughs> that lettuce. That so good. And some guacamole. Right here on the plate, and some tomatoes. Sour cream, sour cream. I want Where's the sour cream? cream? I want to put some sour, sour cream. cream. Sour cream. Listen to him. Sour cream. I want just a dollop right on top of that. Ooh. Check that out. And just maybe a couple olives throughout. And there's one. There's good one. Good to go. Th that one's good to go. And let's see here. Oh, I like this plate. You want a whole wheat one on there? Let's do a whole wheat one. A big whole wheat? A, a massive whole, whole wheat. wheat? A big whole wheat. Now, I like my beans in a bowl. Mm -hmm. And you can also wrap, you know, you can do big ones of these. You can do fajita wraps. Uh, there's lots of different, um, uh, this is a whole oh, wheat. Oh, I like that. But there's gluten-free. You can use mm -hmm. corn if you wanted to use the corn. Let's do the uh, portobello. Okay. Which is 
is looking gorgeous. Look at that. I really like this because it's got that sauciness to it. Yeah. I, 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 you know what? I'm going to put a oh, little you're lettuce done. down. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm going to put a little lettuce down on that. Put a little bit of olives, some tomatoes. So everybody can make their own. Everybody. Uh, you know, what I like, you might not like. Mm-mm-mm. Ooh, guacamole. Have to have some guacamole. So restaurant-wise, everyone's going to decide, okay, this is what we want our plate to look like, and then every mm -hmm. plate that comes out of the kitchen is going to look exactly the same. What do you think? Uh, but looks great. Boom. Want like to try another? It. Let's play another one. Mm, how about this dark plate here? I like okay. that. And I'll give you one whole wheat one on that, too. Okay. I think I am going to put some of the confetti rice right down here on the end. Oh, look at that on that plate with that orange. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah, I like that. This is good rice. It, it mm. tastes great. It has a great mm -hmm. flavor to it. So that's about where you're at. Mm -hmm. Plating is so important. We it eat really with is. our eyes, Mark. We eat with our eyes. And that's why a lot of times we're showing you different plates. Uh, On because we want you to see the differences uh, between different platings. So, look at those babies. Put a little bit oh, of color. that's looking good. You know, I want to put some guacamole just right in the middle of that. And salsa. I mean, salsa is one of those things that you can use in so many different ways. I um, have salsa. Um, uh, I, I know a lot of uh, fajitas that they don't do the salsa because yeah, that's kind of making it a taco. Uh, but uh, but there's always salsa on the table. Yeah. Okay. Anything else on there? Yeah, I've got more plate. Oh, here's it. I want to do I a like little one. I'll do this color. little one. I'll do a little one for you here. Do that. And watch how you'll just do it flat. Mm -hmm. We're going to do a flat one. Open face fajita. Yeah, and just put the rice up. and beans on the bottom. All right. Good idea. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm gonna put some rice. Right, and then you're gonna have this on the top with just a just a dash of the, the lettuce and tomato coloring on the top, right? So you can still see the whole bottom. Uh, yep, just like that. Boom. Wow, Mark. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. So there you go. Mm. We've got different plates right here. We can do, a, I mean, we, look, we got like five, four or five different plates in a matter of seconds. You know, family style, yeah. you know what's good about this is it can refrigerate. You can take it for your lunch the next day. You can eat it in a couple days. There is nothing here that will go bad or spoil. Right. So you've got it. I mean, I can see uh, rolling it up like a burrito style and taking it for a sandwich the next day. Plus, you don't need to use these. You don't. You don't have to. You can do just uh, the rice and a salad. Mm -hmm. You could. You know what? That may, brings me <laughs> okay, to Okay, there you go. <laughs> brings me to this. This is the way you invent in the kitchen. This is the way Mark and I work in the kitchen, and it works. I'm going to put all my ingredients in this bowl. I love the rice. All right, Mark, give me some fajitas. Okay, I'm gonna go with the uh, okay. the one I got plenty of back here. Okay. Because look at this, you can even if oh, you wanted to landscape it, if you wanted to landscape it I on the like side, that. and then put your vegetables in another corner, and then I'll let you uh, hit the other corners. But I'll hit the corner here with a little landscaping. How's that look? I know what Melody's eating for lunch. Yeah, and that's just a hair of the spicy one. Okay, there you go. The simplicity of fajitas. And uh, uh, meat-wise, uh, we've done these meats, but there's other meats you can do. Other uh, meats. Our gluten, we've got our gluten steaks. Uh, mm -hmm. We've got our uh, uh, beef cubes that you could use. Uh, lots of different things uh, you know, for, for the meat. You know, Mark, I know I talk a lot about gluten-free because I'm mm -hmm. celiac. It's not because I don't like wheat. I think wheat is an the most amazing grain uh, that our bodies can have. Unfortunately, I can't have it. 
So please. It's okay. <laughs> Things will get better. <laughs> <laughs> but please, you know, if you can use, we do a good whole wheat um, uh, tortilla. I would love to, but I just don't want people to think I'm out there gluten free because I just choose not to eat wheat. I just don't yeah. have a choice. Right, right. Because I do love so, wheat. Yeah. It's a good green. Wonderful. Uh, so, here. but Look other it. meat substitutes, there's lots of other meat substitutes out there. You there could are. take carrots. You could take boiled, half cooked boiled carrots and use those. You could. Uh, or just do a veggie. But what do you think? Are we ready to eat? I've already been eating. <laughs> so. Oh my. Mm. This is my bowl. Love that rice. This is so mine. Mm. <laughs> can we say goodbye so we can go eat? <laughs> yeah, we'll see you later. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Share these with your friends and family so uh, they too can learn how to eat healthier mm -hmm. so that they can live a healthier life. Because that's our passion, is to teach you how easy it is to eat a healthier life so that you too will feel as energetic as we do, even in our senior citizen days. <laughs> That's right. I had no idea, but now I know. And, uh, I know. You be blessed, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.